Hey, how's it going? This is the next episode of Trails of Cold Steel. Second free day, and nothing really to say about it, so let's get into it. What was the quest? Greetings and welcome. Hello, Hammond. We're here to take up your request, but I'd like to thank you for a delicious meal last night first. It was good. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that. My ask where Lord Eustace is, though. He was called back to a mansion, I'm afraid. We have plans to meet up with him in the afternoon, however. Is that so? It's too bad Eustace isn't here considering this request is from his uncle. Tell me about your request. Ah, yes, as you read, I would like you to gather some ingredients for me. Are you all currently free? If so, I'll need to explain in details what I need. Maybe we should take it up now. Please go ahead and explain. The quest match is something about making a nostalgic dish? Correct. Said dish isn't on our menu, but it's one that I would like you all to try. I said it's rather special dish, then. There's no doubt about how delicious it'll be if you're making it, at least. What kind of dish is it? Perhaps soup is the best way to describe it. <clears throat> but I'm making enough for all of you that... For all you enjoy, so please look forward to that. <laughs> How could we not? What does he need us to gather then? There are two types of greets I'd like to ask you to gather for me. The first is globby fat, which would be collected from monsters on the highway. I need five of those to be exact. The other is a herb used by Septian Church synthesized medicine called the Healing Herb. So five files of globby fat and healing herb. Where do we get the herb from then? I want to speak to Sister Tatiana at Berehard Cathedral. I'm sure she'll be willing to part with one. Just tell her I sent you. Alright, that sounds easy enough. Shall we start on the task at hand? Yeah, let's head to the cathedral first. Roger. I only got four bobby bag and one more. Oh. Oh, good day. Is there something you need for me? It must be Sister Tatiana. Tatiana, I think. I assume. Could we trouble you for healing her by any chance? Hammond from Sorc Sorcerer told us that we'd be able to procure some here. Oh, is that so? I see. Would you mind waiting a bit while I prepare one for you? Here you go. We appreciate it, Sister. This is a great use for making medicine, isn't it? It's safe to use for food, too. Of course, very healthy ingredients when used for food. The only issue is that it is very bitter on some event so some inventiveness on the part of the chef's required to hide that. I see, Hammond must have some way of doing it, so then. I'm kind of interested in how he does it. Likewise. <laughs> Same here. Thank you again for the help. You're welcome. Oh, I'm just going to talk to everyone. I'm not going, like I said last episode, I'm not going to voice them, and I'm not going to record all of it for my own personal enjoyment, really. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, repeat what you said earlier. 
I could have sworn it said something about arms, like Patrick arms? I'll have to look back at that before I delete it. Okay, so I'll be facts from monsters. Is it from this area or another area? I wonder if the soldiers have something new to say too. Wait, like, can I even get to the soldiers or is there anything so Let's get them! My turn. We can't relax yet. Hmm. Now's our chance. I'll handle it. Go. Okay. Here. Leave it to me. That's pretty cool. My turn. Target's eliminated. Let's get going. Okay, it's on the highway. Right. You're new. So this is our exporter. Wait, how did I end up here? Into <sighs> Why do these things keep happening to me? Um, is something the matter? You're you're my messiah, sent by Adio to save me, aren't you? I would not go that far, okay? I'm not quite sure how you reached that conclusion. Um, you don't seem like you're part of the provincial army, are you? What are you doing here? I'm lost, completely lost. Probably fine though, no worries. That's a rather positive outlook for someone who's completely lost. Who is he? Just talking about this man's made my head hurt. <laughs> well, times like this, this just seems lost for school. Try to stay positive, no matter what. I think I may have reached my limit to that end, however. That's unfortunate. How'd you get here to begin with? I'll happily tell you, but fair warning, it's a truly moving tale of hardship and woe. If you got some boxes of tissue, Andy. Shall I begin? I think we'll pass. Aw, come on. Um, is there a short version? Fine, I'll see what I can do. Actually, to tell you the truth, there's not really much to say. I wandered out on the highway for a bit of a change of pace, having to spot a rare butterfly, so I chased after it. Suddenly I found myself halfway along the canyon pass around the monsters, so I ran, barely escaped my life, and turned up here. The end. I see. That sounds like quite a predicament. As weird as the sky is, I don't think we could just leave him here like this all good conscience. Now if you like, we will escort you back to Brayheart. Really? You would? Well, thank you. Thank you. Such nice people. I wish those nasty provincial army soldiers were more like you. Something happened? My mother asked one of them to escort me back to the city. They just said I made my way here. I could get myself back the same way. Some people are just so cold-hearted, aren't they? Guess I shouldn't tell them I was thinking the same thing. I believe we all were. Looks as though the goddess hasn't banned me after all, though. Now she was just kind enough to send you my way. <laughs> Um, should we be going then? Of course, Brayhard, here we come. Oh! Actually wasn't expecting another quest, I thought that was just for the evening. I wonder I could find one yesterday. But I'm still going to talk to the soldiers. Him. Uh, 
Oh. I was just confused by what he meant by him at first. Dangerous foe! Stay on guard! Hold up, please. I'm sorry, but you mind giving me a moment? Not a problem at all. Are your legs getting tired? Oh no, that's not it. I was just gazing the valley beneath this bridge. I thought this might be a good opportunity to calm myself down a bit. What are you going to do? You just let me worry about that. I'll only take a moment, I promise. I might make a bit of noise, so don't panic. I see. What is he planning on doing? Alright then. Uh, do you mind getting away from the edge a bit? Because that's kind of unnerving. Whoa, how far down does this valley go? No, no, I'm not going to let it scare me. Perish the thought. Deep breath. I hate anniversary festivals. Farewell, my youth. Phew, much better. Shall we be off, then? I mean, I guess we all need a loud scream every now and then, but... Wow. <laughs> Did I mishear you when you say you're going to calm yourself down? I think the best thing to do right now is probably just pretend none of this ever happened. Honestly, that is the best way to calm yourself down. Just get all the screaming out, you're fine. And he did warn him that he was going to do it. Although, why do you hate festivals? I'm actually curious about that. I made it. I actually made it back alive! Thank you so much for this. <laughs> you're welcome. I really have no idea how I'll make this up to you all. Oh, this is Ricky. Hey, come let me introduce you to my good friend Ricky. Anthony, you sure took your sweet time. I never believe what happened to me. Tried just my story as I made it back here. All things to help these guys here. Alright, I think I get what happened. Something terrible shortly happened after you left town when Steve's point came along and helped you. <laughs> I knew you would understand, old buddy. This Ricky person doesn't seem exactly normal either. You know from when he was talking, this type of stuff happens all the time. <laughs> they do say the birds of a flock together. I'm more amazed at the fact that they both seem completely calm despite all that's happened. It's kind of funny to watch, though. You guys really are a bunch of good Samaritans, aren't you? I mean, thank you as well. It takes some real guts to stick with them the whole way. You guys really are my saviors. I know. Let me give you this for all you've done for me. It's really popular over on Crossville. Napping Mishy. Uh, thank you. Suppose the both of you are traveling together then? Did you come from Crossville? Yeah, we're from Liberal. You're just saying. Eh. Crossville for a while as our part of our trip. We were both traveling for a few months though. We got here to Erbonia about a week ago. Now we're planning on making our way to a new destination. Right. So you'll be resuming your journey throughout Erbonia? Yep, that's the idea. That's not all. One day. One day, I will find my true self to all this traveling. Or so he says. 
There's no sound like to actually do any traveling. Let's prioritize, prioritize searching for a job or search for himself soon. Well, that's true, but... Are these two actually friends? Anyways, thank you so much for all your help. We'll catch you later. Alright, I just need to call me fat. Again, I presume you've clicked all the ingredients then. Yeah, everything's here in account for. Here you go. Much obliged. Please make your way over a table. Begin preparing the dish immediately. How was it? I call this dish Deluxe Herb Chowder. It was beyond delicious. Mm, I feel a sore covering warmth throughout my body after eating it. I might hang some of this if I ever caught a cold. Indeed, I almost feel like a bowl of this might cure it outright. <laughs> I'm pleased to hear that. You did mention this was a rather nostalgic dish. I assume you use this hat often? That's correct, it was one of his favorite dishes even. To tell you the truth, the one who created this dish is another my sister herself. So is mom. That's pretty sweet actually. In other words, Lord uses his mother. I see. Well then, did that make you his uncle? Kind of surprising. Alright, I forgot the girls didn't hear it. Uh, oops, we didn't tell you two about that, did we? My apologies, I was under the impression you all were aware. You were all aware. <laughs> I wasn't expecting his mother to be a creator of this dish, though. His mother must have been skilled cooking if she could see a dish this delicious. She was indeed. She would even come by and help out here from time to time. The first time she made the soup was when Lord Eustace fell ill during his younger years. She went to the church to ask for medicinal herbs. Afterwards, she said about a venting dish that would be both easy for her to digest and enjoyable to eat. Lord Eustace was always at the front of her mind. It really does sound like she cared deeply for him. And yet, he lost her eight years ago. So it's like he hasn't had such an easy life after all. Thank you, you're finally understanding, Machias. Someone's thinking about uses. I, I know she's not saying it like that, but I can't help but put the same song down. Who might that be? Certainly not me. <laughs> I've probably said too much. I was hoping that Lord Uses would be here and enjoy this too, but. Anyway, I'm happy I can talk to you all about this. We gotta learn more about uses, so likewise. <laughs> well, that brings my request to an end. Thank you all for your help. There's plenty of soup left over, so feel free to take it with you. Oh, thank you, sir. Let me give you this as well. It's a recipe for the creamy chowder that this dish is based off. If you've made with more common ingredients, at have time you should try making it for yourselves. 
want to make it right now. I feel somewhat bad being treated to a delicious meal that being taught a new recipe. That's very generous of you. That's the least I can do for Lord Eustace's friend. Goodbye then. I wish you luck with your future endeavors. Okay. So we're filling up a recipe book, aren't we? Fresh milk and mature cheese. Ingredients because I want to try and make that better dish to give to the maid. I want to see what happens if I do that with every dish. Although that depends if I get every dish. Okay, which ones had the ingredients? Not general. Oh, probably general goods. I do say so myself. Okay. Let's do this! Leave it to right. me! 
Okay. Okay, I need to. It's my turn. Hang in there, everyone. Yes. Thank you very much. Ah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Gleaming blade. Here we go. There. Now's a chance. Of course, it heals up like that. Ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you very I much. Need to grind. Right. Hang in there, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much. My turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I need. Start with how to do this. Now, yes. Appreciate it. Here we 
we go. There. Go. Broken. It's not over yet. Somehow we won. Holy crap. We sure did. Doing so, I believe we successfully redeemed ourselves from yesterday. Good work, everyone. So that gets a pass. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I've been dragging you all down. Especially you, Green. I owe you double, double the apology. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's alright, Mockius. Don't worry about it. If I just asked you honestly from the start, all this could have been avoided. If anything, I should be the one apologizing. I'm sorry for misplaying you. No, no. Anyway, it's all in the past now. I'm glad to have you on our group, Mark. Yes, the same to you. <laughs> I'm glad the two of you are finally able to make up. Ah, youth. <laughs> Ironic coming from the youngest member of the class. Hey, don't make fun of us. <laughs> so as long as we're on a roll here, why not use this chance to make up with uses too? What? If we could just be more honest with one another, I'm sure even combat leaks would be out of the... Not a chance. My behavior towards you was wrong. I fully admit that, but use is a whole different story. He and I are fundamentally incompatible. Nothing any of you could do to change that. <laughs> I guess getting those two accept one another is still a long ways off. And baby steps. Well, we should probably head back to town, don't you think? It sounds like a good idea. Use should be back soon, too. I'm hungry. Fine, let's go. I think after all that, I'm going to end this episode here. Definitely going to use up the chance to grind before I start the next episode. Maybe 22, 23. That should be good enough. That being said, sure like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.